We're good. There we go. And welcome to another video vlog. The video vlog is back, I decided. Because when we started doing videos, I always used to call them video blogs. Because there's no such thing as vlogs back in the day. I mean, look at this. This is, well, this is a long time ago. Hi, my name is Yoon Olsen, and uh, you're watching the very first post on my video blog. So, I decided we're gonna call them video blogs, because they're a video blog. A blog doesn't have to be a full day, right? Yeah. No. But then I, I, I saw a comment that we shouldn't talk more, but I had to establish that. Do you wanna come up? Smart. What are we doing today? We need to figure out and understand why the G400D that we have borrowed here is the first car out of all the cars I've owned that Yanni says that she wants and wants to buy. Except the golf car. Is this true? I think so. You've never... I mean, the Rebellion I wanted to buy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Leon wants. Wait. Life when video blogging with a kid. You can sometimes not control the situations. But as I said, I figured we would do a full on review on this, both from my perspective, but also maybe more importantly from Yanni's perspective. Cause I mean, I've, I've had a G4x4, the giant mega thing, but that I never really drove when it had a roof on. And then once it didn't have a roof, it was just a very, very unique little thing. I've always kind of wanted to have one of these, like either a Mansur or a Brabus, like, but Leon. Was it the music that you missed? But this car, the way it comes in this look, just looks really good stock. I don't know if it's me getting old, becoming a parent, but I'm like, I like this the way it looks like this. He always thought that if you had a G, you had to have the G63 AMG, which by the way, before we continue, you guys have a chance to win because we're doing another collab with Omaze. Yes, box. So, if that does sound interesting, you can find all the info in the description and you go to omaze.com slash Olsen and there you find everything. And the best thing about the whole thing is that every donation goes towards supporting an amazing cause. And in this case, it's the USTA who changed lives through tennis and education. So, all good things if you like G-Wagons. G-Wagon! Uh, no, I do. Uh, the G400D that we have is awesome. But the G63, 577 horsepower and zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds. So, for your chance to win a G63, you go to mace.com, you find all the info in the direction, and remember, you're also supporting a great cause with the USTA. So, who knows? Oh yeah, baby. Maybe you'll own a G63 before me, or maybe even before Yanni. Can I do it too? Yes. Yes! Oh, show me this thing. I mean, the G, it's, it's like hard to explain what's so special about it. It's just one of those iconic cars that looked so much I like we have for the last 30, 40 years. And I found one thing that I love and sometimes not so much. Like this sound, awesome. This sound, when Leia is sleeping inside, not quite so awesome. So it's like you really have to slam this door in order to really get it properly shut. I mean, if you do it like, like normal, so a lot of people have to reshut it and it doesn't have that soft lock, so. When you have tiny little babies, you kind of wish it had the soft look. But maybe we, maybe Leon just wants to go in the car. Maybe that's why he is upset. Definitely. Because I want to hear Yanni's opinion of this thing. So I figured we would jump in the car and then I'm going to interview her and to see, like, try to drag. Because usually she's very, she doesn't say that much about what it is she likes or doesn't like. So I'm going to try to pull it out. She did say she loved this car, right? She loves it. Like, it's the first car I've seen her at mobile.de where she's checking out. Come on. Yep. Checking out <laughs> prices. But here. You know, priceless. It doesn't look like that big of a uh, trunk, but it's high so that you, you can properly stack everything. And we're gonna, we're just gonna get Leon under control. We're gonna pack up and then we're gonna jump in the car and see what Johnny says. Let's do it. Sounds good. Welcome to car uh, reviewing with kids. So we're on the move. Yes. So Yanni, tell me 
why do you like the G so much? I think it's because you sit high up and you see everything. Most cars you sit like so you have to do this, you know? And then you have these big things and like here the window is straight and you see everything, so I like that. But there's a lot of SUVs that you sit fairly high up. Yeah, but I haven't been driving that many, so maybe it's just that, I don't know. No, but I like the feeling of it. The sound, everything. Do you care for the look? Yeah, it's cool. When I see a car like this coming by, I think like, oh, that looks cool. But that's not why I like it, I think. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying to figure out here, what it is. Like, you sit high. Yeah, it's just fun to drive. I don't know. Try to dig deep here and yeah, think, like... I don't think Like, so I think one of the main reasons that I like the car so much is that it just has a cool image. Like, yeah. it, it's just, it's kind of retro looking. Did you lose the cracker? Yeah, it has a cool, like, retro image look. Yeah, yeah I always think I've felt that this is like a modern car that always will look modern in a way. I don't know. I don't think there's any other popular car that's remained like looking the same for yeah. 30, 40 years. Yeah, and, I agree. Then they look old after a while. So give me your top three things of what you like about it. That you sit up high, that it feels safe, that if you crash, like if you're in a car crash, you feel safe. That's important. I don't know if I am, but it feels like it. Yeah, it feels like when you're closing the doors and it's like, whoa, bam! Yeah, so that and that and that it's fun driving. I don't know why, it's just a feeling. You may think it's not that easy to move around, but I think it really responds like when you steer and like, I don't know. It's smooth. Yeah, I mean, this car compared to the old G is a, then you would have thought that uh, you okay. felt a bit of a, a tractor feeling. Like uh, okay. The difference is, is quite big. But then I want to hear the top three things you don't like. The doors? That they're so... I, I probably have to close them five times before it's actually closed. Yeah. That's annoying. Yeah, I mentioned the same I wonder thing. if you could fix that. You can, like I'm okay. sure that... Well, I mean you can do anything to a car but installing soft locks. Yeah. But then you'd miss that like G sound. Yeah, I mean I like... I would want the sound maybe, but not the annoying not the part. Slamming. And also like when you have kids sleeping, you will 100% wake them up. <laughs> Yeah. And by the way, who takes two babies on a car review video? Like, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, we just didn't have any other solution. So if you're thinking, dumb idiots, like, you know, we're, we're just two working parents. Who are trying we wouldn't have done it if we, did, if we didn't have to. <laughs> so if there's a lot of like, mur, 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 yeah, it's just life. Okay, so number one, the doors. I don't know. Like, you never have to fuel, really. So I think I fueled once. And then we went up to Mora. Yeah. In two the, months. You fueled maybe twice. Yeah, like I think we fueled three times all summer. Yeah, that's crazy. I always thought that if you get a G, you need to get the G63, which by the way that you missed the fact that we're doing a collab with Omaze and you can win a G63. Yeah, I hope you pick me as the winner. Well, I'm not picking, like it's a lottery. <laughs> okay, I will do it then. Imagine if I actually win. You know, I always usually am lucky. Like yeah, I think Yanni's lot. gonna enter. I will for sure. After having driven this 400D, I'm like... Wondering if this is like almost a better choice. Yeah. Because I mean, would you, I mean, you don't need any more acceleration. No, 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 I don't care. Do you want more cooking? I mean, if it was electric, that would be great. But what you were about to say was that it would have been even better if they had an electric version of yeah, this. Yeah, then I would buy it for sure. So the doors, that it's not electric, I don't know. I do think that the steering wheel uh, controls are more easily understood on an Audi. Yeah, because here, I, it's, I thought I could change the channel on the radio. Yeah. But, but it like changed the settings of the car, the yeah, driving the settings. Speed uh, limiter. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I got super surprised. <laughs> Couldn't drive so. faster than Facebook. Oh yeah, so that, I would say. What do you think, Leon? <coughs> what do you think of the G? Is, is it a gum brum brum? No, I have a question for you. Hit me. Which one is your favorite car that you've ever had? Well, I was gonna save that for a special video. Oh, okay. This is by far my favorite car that we've ever borrowed. Yeah. Like, in terms of not owning, yeah. this wins by a mile. Yeah. As we're heading back in here, we have one final important question for Yanni. You get to pick one car any car in the world you get for free. Any car. Any car. And you can't resell it, so you can't pick something expensive no, just to resell it. Ah, I don't know. 
Maybe, probably. Yeah, it's the first car, except for the golf cart, as I've said before. But yeah, I think so. Maybe in different colors. Like she's been saying, I, I love this car. She's never looked at other cars before. And then you're given this like vague answer. Yeah, Would but you that want... was a very big question. Any car in the world, I don't know. I have to look more. <laughs> I'm gonna join the competition and see if I can win it, the lottery. Yanni is very lucky when it comes to these things. Yes, I am. But yeah, I would probably pick this. I expected, uh, yes, I would pick this 100% since I, I've never seen her shown interest in any car like this. No, I, I would probably pick this. I think so. Yes. And you look damn good in it. Good. If there was a bit of weird cuts, it was because I have a new camera and I used an old Sony battery and the, the uh, battery kept, or the camera kept saying high temp. So it was like a good you practice look, year. You practice look like you're a high temp too. Yeah, it's like, wah, wah, battery overheating. <laughs> But at least I managed to close two doors with only one try. That's nice. the last one. Oh, with my phone. Oh. <laughs> His arm was about to. There we go. Brilliant. Getting the hang of it after two months. And since we've used Mr. Mr. Warner as filmer again, I want to hear, what do you think of the G? Are you a G man? I'm more of a mothership kind of guy. <laughs> Here's a picture of the mothership. Well, the mothership does have more space. That's true. But no, this thing is sick, dude. I'm gonna sign up and win this thing yeah, with the old maze, baby! I don't, know if there, I don't know if there's a point, because Yanni, Yanni's actually gonna put money in, and she tends to do very well on lotteries. <laughs> but yeah. I, I wanna know, I asked Yanni, you get to pick one car in the entire world, but you cannot resell and you have to use it. What would be Warner's pick of any car? You can only have one car. The mothership Forever. that works. It would either be a Volkswagen California or an RS6. Volkswagen California, I don't even... It's like the big one that you can live in, but not too big. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Or the RS6, so two quite similar cars. Let me know in the comments if you got to pick any car and you have to use it, you can't resell it, you have to use it for 10 years. Oh, wow. What would be, and it has to be your only car. I At have, this stage I have three life. on yeah. my top. Okay. The RS6 is gonna fall in there. Yep. The Phantom. Yeah. It's gonna be in there. So big though. Mm. And the G is gonna be in there. But um, now we're gonna pack everything up here, uh, get them to sleep, and I apologize for the less than professional idea of bringing kids in the car when filming. It's cool to see all the comments uh, appreciating all these uh, shorter videos. Uh, I know that they're gonna be more different than some video, like it'll be a bigger variety, but I like it. it it's kind of fun and like I haven't been this consistent in vlogging in a long time. And it's cleaner storyline. All right, great job, buddy. Awesome, thanks again. We might have some... Uh... Yeah, bro. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. From Walter for the motocross helmet. Yeah. Do you want the helmet too? That looks safe. Hey, yeah, it's hard oh. to see with that thing on. Is that better? Papa. Here comes Papa. Papa. Oh, oh. Woo. And now in this uh, epic look, we're saying over and out. Later, Leon. High five. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Peace. Yeah. Woo. Goodbye, sick car. I might just take it now. See you guys.